The standoff between Africa's richest man and the president of the continent's most populous country is picking up steam. Eliko Dangote, who is worth $14.5 billion, according to the Bloomberg Billionaires Index, runs one of the largest industrial conglomerates in Africa. It dominates in cement, sugar, salt, and fertilizer, but perhaps most crucially owns the seventh largest oil refinery in the world, located near Lagos in Nigeria. The refinery should mean that Africa's largest crude producer should be weaned off its dependence on imported products. Instead, the government says it does not want to turn Dangote into a monopoly by stopping imports. That could threaten energy security, according to the authorities. And the tit for tat went a step further when regulators questioned the quality of diesel produced in the Dangote refinery, claiming it has high sulfur compared to imported varieties. Perhaps in an effort to cool down the spat, the government said this week they would sell oil to Dangote's refinery in Naira, which will ease pressure on U.S. dollar reserves and stabilize pump prices. Dangote, though, says he would rather prefer a level plan field that allows it to sell products locally. What an ongoing clash of the titans ultimately means for the country has yet to be truly realized.